Alright, so we are back with the Jedi Survivor and today we are benchmarking the RDX 3060. Now I've just made a few changes to my mid-range benchmarking system. You'll see that the memory now is DDR4 3600 megahertz uh, CL18. Uh, that went up from 3200 megahertz. So you might see a slight increase in performance, especially when it comes to uh, CPU bound scenarios. Uh, not that it's not going to be like 20-30%, uh, but uh, the numbers might just not correspond with uh, any of the previous uh, benchmarks also this uh, is now with the latest patch so which did improve some performance issues are made to believe so this can't be really compared to the rx 6600 xd video that i did uh, last week all right so we'll be testing this at 1080p 1440p and we'll see how 4k goes uh, the test system is a 12400f intel system with the uh, 16 gigabytes of ddr4 uh, 3600 megahertz cl16 memory all right so we'll be testing this first area here but so first let's just uh, go over the settings here we're at 1080p on the epic pre said we don't have a ray tracing enabled no fsr upscaling anything i just disabled these post processing effects and uh, that's pretty much it right so let's just reset our numbers and uh, start from scratch you can see uh, that we are getting around 60 frames per second i just wanted to make sure that vsync wasn't on just to make sure that it does go past 60 frames per second it's not a constant 60 frames per second experience but it does seem to be a little bit better than the rx 6600 xt video where we had around 40 fps with these settings and now as i said you can't really compare the two the 3060 and the 6600 xt are pretty much on par depending on which game you play but there's been a few patches and then i've also upgraded the memory in the system right i also did a video on just the patch and you could actually see that in cpu bound scenarios there was quite a big difference now in this specific case it might not make that big a difference because we are 100 percent gpu bound you can see the gpu usage is sitting at 100 percent all the time like it doesn't drop even to 99 percent that i have seen that's just literally locked at 100 percent which is what you want i mean as close to 100 percent as you possibly can just to be able to fully utilize the gpu I mean, this guy's quite skilled with his uh, lightsaber. All right, so we've been here before, if you've seen my previous videos. So I'm just trying to replicate the benchmark runs as close as I can. I know it's not always 100% possible, and now our 1% lows are going to suffer because of the stupid menu here. But uh, I mean, just to take the numbers before the menu popped up. But we had an average of uh, 60 frames per second, and the game didn't feel that uh, stuttery. I mean, just have a like, look at the frame time graph there. It's not perfectly smooth, but it's not too bad. I mean, if we lock this at 55 frames per second, maybe 50 frames per second, we, we should get a pretty smooth frame time graph. And this is at 1080p epic. All right, so once again, just before we uh, drop down here, let's just drop that down to high. All right, we're now at uh, 1080p high. All the other settings are still exactly the same. Uh, let's just uh, reset our numbers here. And we gained around uh, 10 to 12 frames per second just by dropping the the quality detail. That was a big stutter there. Now, I do uh, believe playing at high is much better than playing at epic. Sure, it looks, uh, or it's supposed to look uh, that much better on epic, but it's just not really worth the performance yet, especially if you are playing on a more mid-range system. And this time, this little door is not going to fool me. I see him. We did have a pretty big stutter there, 8 frames per second, 0.1% lows, and uh, <laughs> oh, I hate these tutorials. Got a pretty neat uh, lightsaber here. Uh, it does quite a bit of damage. Also, these benchmark runs are done on easy mode. Obviously, I don't want to struggle with stupid difficulty when I'm just doing benchmark runs because uh, I rarely focus on the game and I just uh, more focus on the performance numbers in the top left-hand corner there. But uh, I actually do play this game on medium. Yeah, I'm not uh, the most hardcore gamer out there. And uh, I mean, my name is Lame Average Gamer, so I am playing on medium. But for these benchmark runs, we are playing on easy.
and I'm going to die because I forgot about that one. All right, so you first have to pull that one down and then you can actually get up here. All right, so 1080p high, we actually got a pretty decent result. That, that's actually where I would play this with this system if I had a 1080p monitor. And uh, I mean, it was a constant 60 frames per second experience. There was one big stutter there that dropped our 0.1% low number down to nine, but uh, that's just uh, how this game goes sometimes. Now, funny enough, we see exactly the same result as with the 6600 XT, that at the moment you get to this area, it drops below 60 frames per second, even at 1080p high. And I think it's maybe because the view distance, you can actually see quite a lot of the map from, yeah, maybe it's the light maybe it's everything combined but over here we aren't getting 60 frames per second all right so let's just drop it down to medium and see what happens right i'm not sure exactly what happened when we dropped down to medium but uh, now we're uh, maintaining 60 frames per second even hitting 80 at times we did hit 80 in the previous uh, preset as well depending on which area you are and over here we are getting a pretty high refresh rate experience right almost 100 frames per second which is not so terrible at all but this game's performance pretty much depends on which area you are. I mean, most games are like that. Uh, this is not unique. Some areas will have less detail than others. But sometimes the frame rate drop or the frame rate fluctuation is quite a lot. I mean, sometimes it's 40 frames per second and sometimes it's 85 frames per second with these exact same settings. But this game definitely still has quite a lot of issues that they need to sort out even after this big patch that uh, launched last week or that was released last week. All right, so now it's just time to test FSR. I'm going to go to the Epic preset and enable FSR quality, see if we can still hit 60 frames per second. All right, we're now on the Epic preset and FSR is enabled on quality. And let's just reset our numbers here. And we are getting a pretty high uh, frame rate here, getting between 70 and 90 frames per second, which is better than I expected. I thought we'd drop quite a lot by going to Epic. I didn't think that FSR would help that much. But now you can see we are actually CPU bound. Um, we are getting around 90% GPU utilization, which is still good. It's good enough, but uh, dropping below 90 indicates a clear CPU bottleneck, which is quite strange because the 12400F is definitely more than capable of uh, saturating A3060. All right, but this is actually a pretty good experience so far. We are getting above 60 frames per second at all times. The graphics look okay. I mean, even FSR quality at 1080p is definitely not the best looking, but if you are planning on playing on the Epic preset, then you would need FSR to stay above 60 frames per second. Otherwise, just uh, drop it down to the high preset or even the medium preset if you want to be able to hit 60 frames per second at a native. All right, so that's at 1480p let's move over to 1440p right we're now at 1440p still on the epic preset let's just uh, disable fsr here and uh, see how it goes i'm not expecting much and pretty much as expected 30 frames per second once again you shouldn't really play on the epic preset if you've got a mid-range uh, system like this but uh, i mean we're a benchmarking channel so we have to test everything At least we seem to be able to maintain 30 frames per second at all times. I haven't seen a drop below 30. I mean, that's definitely not the best experience, but uh, if you are aiming for a 30 frames per second uh, experience, then uh, this would suffice, right? It's definitely uh, not the worst. I personally wouldn't play this game at less than uh, 60 frames per second, but uh, everybody has their own preferences. Let's so say if you have a 3060 and a 1440p monitor and you want to play it native, then this is not terrible especially if you are playing with a controller the input latency is not really noticeable at all but once again i'd aim for 60 frames per second or more in this title all right uh, let's just drop down to the high preset right we're now at 1440p high everything else is still exactly the same we'll get to the ray tracing testing just now let's just reset our numbers and we gained around 10 10 to 15 frames per second here I can't exactly remember what to do. I think I need to send this guy over somewhere or do I need to press? Oh, I think let's just do this. We are dropping below 40 frames per second, even on the high preset, which is not ideal. But once again, you have to be realistic with your hardware. The 3060 is definitely a capable GPU, even at 1440p. It just depends on which game you're playing and uh, how well the game is optimized. 
unfortunately this game at 1440p high just doesn't seem to be able to hit 60 frames per second with this GPU. Right, I'm just going to meditate just so that we can uh, reload from the save if anything has to happen. Now we have to reset the numbers because the lows would be affected by going into the menu there. But I mean, we had a pretty good idea of what the performance is like. All right, so at 1440p high, as I said, we're not able to hit uh, 60 frames per second at all. So let's just drop down to medium. Right now on the medium preset, nothing else has changed. And for the first time at 1440p, we are seeing 60 frames per second. Now I'm uh, pretty sure we won't be able to maintain 60 frames per second due to some errors being a little bit more demanding than others. But this comes uh, close enough, right? So if you, if you don't mind dropping below 60 frames per second every now and again, then uh, 1440p medium at native should be okay. I mean, so far. Coast looks clear. This is actually a pretty good game. I enjoyed it. I haven't played that much. I played around six, seven hours in total on my main save. And I, I do enjoy it. It's just that uh, at the time I was playing it, the performance issues were definitely a lot worse than they are now. And this uh, seems to be a much better experience after the patch. So as you can see here in these uh, fighting scenes we aren't able to maintain 60 frames per second but I think it's close enough that it uh, wouldn't really bother me too much unless I'm looking at a frame time counter. Let's see if I can deflect this. There we go. Alright so at uh, 1440p high we had an average of almost 60 frames per second which is uh, pretty good so if you want to play at uh, 1440p native then the medium preset would be ideal. Alright I'm going to go back to the high preset I'm not going to go to epic and then I'm just going to enable FSR. Right we're on the high preset and FSR is set to quality no ray tracing everything else is still exactly the same let's see if we can maintain 60 frames per second. Looks like we are getting around the same performance as what we had at uh, 1440p medium without FSR. So if you are okay with some visual artifacting, then this might also be an option if you are playing on a 1440p monitor. can't remember exactly what to do here, but uh, I think we need to go this way. Uh, not this way, but uh, just uh, have to jump a little bit further than that. There we go. All right, apparently this is the right way, not the other way. But you can see we're getting pretty much the same performance as what we had at uh, 1440p medium. The frame rate does drop below 60 frames per second when there's combat. Otherwise, it seems to hold up uh, okay. All right, whilst he's up there, let's uh, jump to 4K. All right, we're now at 4K on the high preset and uh, FSR has been turned off. I'm not going to be playing at this resolution, actually. I just want to show you getting around 20 to 24 frames per second let's just reset our numbers there not that it's going to matter because we won't be benchmarking at these settings i just wanted to show you what the numbers are like now let's see what we need to do to get uh, 60 frames per second at 4k if it is even possible right i know the frame time graph and everything in top left hand corner is a bit small uh, it's because it's at 4k i don't want to alt tab back into windows to change the font size uh, just in case the game crashes because it's obviously still not perfect but here we are at 4k and we are getting uh 70 frames per second now let's go over which settings i had to use i had to go down to the medium preset at 4k and then we had to enable ultra performance fsr any other setting would not net as 60 frames per second, unfortunately. But then again, this is not a 4K GPU, but I just wanted to test what the performance would be like. All right, I'm not going to be testing too much at 4K, as I said. Let's move on to the ray tracing tests. 
Right, we're now back to 1080p. We are on the high preset and ray tracing has been enabled and FSR has been disabled. Let's just uh, see what uh, happens here. Let's just uh, start our benchmark run. And we are getting around 50 frames per second, which is definitely not terrible. This is with ray tracing and no upscaling whatsoever. So this is a pretty good result, I think. I th we will be able to definitely hit uh, 60 frames per second the moment we uh, enable uh, some form of upscaling. And unfortunately, this game only supports FSR, which is a bit of an issue. Just look at the traversal stutter there. And this is... Uh, the issue with Unreal Engine 4. The moment you start entering new zones, those uh, stutters actually occur. Right, so we're not really hitting 60 frames per second. As uh, I said, I would prefer the minimum frame rate to be. So let's just enable FSR quality. Let's see if we can hit that 60 frames per second. I did test this at the medium preset as well. We didn't gain much in terms of frame rate. So I'm going to stick to the high preset because it just looks a little bit better than medium. And uh, now we've got FSR quality enabled. And we didn't gain uh, a lot when it comes to frames per second because we are CPU bound. You can see that the GPU usage is in the 80s and the 70s even. So we can play around with the FSR settings as much as we want. We aren't going to get uh, 60 frames per second with these settings, right? Let's just uh, demonstrate that. I'm just going to go down to FSR uh, balanced, which is the next preset. All right, so at FSR balanced, now we are still getting 55 frames per second right and the gpu usage is now a little bit lower it's going down into the low 70s i mean it stays more or less the same most of the time but you can see our gpu temperature dropped quite a lot it was running at around 70 degrees earlier and now it's at uh, the low 60s or in the low 60s and our gpu usage is uh, quite a lot less right so unfortunately it doesn't seem like we'll be able to hit 60 frames per second with the ray tracing enabled with this uh, gpu cpu combo let's just see what happens if we drop it down to medium there might be some of these settings that affect uh, cpu performance and going down to medium gained us like three or four frames per second here so I wouldn't really play this game at 1080p low with FSR enabled. So I'm guessing that 60 frames per second with ray tracing and a 3060 is just not doable. And that is unfortunate because this GPU is definitely capable of uh, 60 frames per second with ray tracing enabled in other titles. It's just the way that this game utilizes the CPU. There's definitely a big CPU bottleneck occurring here. All right, so let's just move over to 1440p. I'm going to be using these exact same settings. Uh, so let's see what happens. All right, we're at uh, 1440p, still on the medium preset, FSR balanced. Remember, we had around 55 frames per second previously, and we're still getting 55 frames per second. It does look a lot nicer, though. Let's just reset our numbers here. The pixel density at 1440p is definitely a lot better than at 1080p, especially on this 32-inch uh, monitor, and I pressed the button too early. Uh, story of my life. Ah, there we go. I think I made it. So that's another sign of a CPU bottleneck is that uh, even if you increase the resolution, the frame rate stays the same. That means that it's the CPU that can't keep up. But here you can see even at 1440p, we seem to be CPU bound because we aren't uh, getting 100% GPU utilization. And uh, that's pretty strange. Sure, we are using FSR, but uh, with these settings at this resolution, we should be uh, GPU bound, especially with the CPU. There's no trouble in other games with this CPU when it comes to this GPU. I think I might die, uh, even though the game is on easy. Now let's just use my special powers here. There we go, I think I, I made it. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Even if we do drop the FSR preset to performance or ultra performance, because we aren't GPU bound, we won't net anything in the frame rate area. So that's just where we're going to leave it for today. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.